Alright. Alright, good afternoon everyone. Parang hindi kayo diretso magsalita. Hindi, naka-face naka, 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 mask kayo. Alright, I'm Pastor Jeff. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Even our um, online viewers, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ang sarap mag-worship kanina. No? Bitin lang eh. Sinesenya saan ko si Adrian. Pahaba yung mga three hours eh. Hindi niya katingin eh. But anyway, kasi kailangan natin taposin ito na alas 5 sa simula na natin. I thought hindi ako makapag-preach this afternoon because kaninang um, around 10 o'clock, I felt a numbness dito sa right arm ko. And incidentally, for those of you na medyo matagal na rito sa Victory Fort, uh, it's my second year anniversary today na na-stroke ako two years ago. Grabe no? So parang... Uh, Ano yung masamang pangitain? <laughs> Hindi mo na ako naniniwala. No? May pusang gumaganon sa amin eh. So, <laughs> yung lumalakad na pusa. So, kanina, I, 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 sobra ako na paranoid. Kasi that was, I felt nung na, nagkaroon ako ng TIA, yung mga doktor dito, like si Tony, transient ischemic attack. So, it's a mild kind of stroke. So, kanina, medyo numb siya. Because when I was clicking the laptop, when I was preparing my keynote kanina, sa ko, parang ayaw mag-click. Nakala ko sira yung laptop. Nung pala, it takes more effort. Sabi ko, parang mahina. And then, nagnanumb na siya. Light lang naman, okay? So, I have an 11 a.m. Zoom uh, baby dedication in Vietnam. Ang tindi, no? Nagdededicate ako sa Vietnam over Zoom. Ang sarap ng buhay ngayon ng church, ano, borderless, ano? So, I have to cancel, I have to look for, ano, uh, uh, replacement sa akin. Buti na lang si Pastor Emil is kind enough to replace me kasi talagang, tapos nahihilo-hilo na ako. Kung ano na pinag-iisip ko? Umbubulang. <coughs> Sa ko, ah, parang may positive ako. Parang ganun, okay? Parang yung kapitbahay namin, nilaglat lang yung mister, pina, pinasunog agad. Pina, <laughs> hindi, na, joke lang yan, okay? <laughs> Pinakremate agad, ano? May lagnat ka, ikremate ka. Hindi, joke lang yan. So kanina, I have to cancel everything. And then I was about to go to the hospital na. Nag-dress up na ako. Sabi ko kay Grace, Grace, ano yung mga kayamanan natin? Yung titulo ng lupa, nandiyan lahat. And then, and then I ended up in a teleconsult muna sa, sa cardio ko in um, uh, Dr. Magsambol dito sa uh, QC na St. Luke's. And then, sabi niya, Pastor Jeff, anong BP mo? 160 over 110. Sabi niya, taas, Pastor, ha? So after, sabi niya, try pa natin after magpahinga ka lang muna, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then bumaba na ng 130. Sabi, if you're having a stroke, consistent yan, napapataas. So bumaba, so... Uh, uh, sabi niya, hindi ka naman ini-stroke. So sabi ko, pwede bang mag-preach? Sabi niya, hindi, pahinga ka na lang. Tapos hindi ko na narinig. Sabi ko, hello, 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 parang hindi kita marinig. Tapos binaba ko na lang. <laughs> De, joke lang yun, okay? Ina na naman, nagpahinga ako, okay? So munti ko nang hindi matapos yung preaching na to. Sakto naman yung preaching kasi we're gonna talk about peace. Hindi yung isda, okay? Alam ko mura isda. Uh, peace yun eh, peace. Yung peace, yung kapayapaan, okay? So kanina, na wala na ako ng peace. Alam mo yun? Sabi ko, ipipreach ko pa naman to. Tapos, ito yung topic. Tapos ito yung parang ang hirap challenge sa akin. Alam mo, madali magka-peace pagka okay yung lahat, right? And for the past three weeks, you've been talking about uh, having joy in the midst of circumstances, uncertainties, in the midst ng mga problema sa pamilya. We've been talking about for the past three weeks. And Pastor John did a great job last week talking about yung peace, Right? And, and, and joy, rather. So itong joy na to actually is a byproduct of having peace. Yung katiwasa yan. Kaya today, ang challenge ko, how do we find peace in these difficult times? Paano ba tayo makaka-experience na itong peace? Eh, may pandemic. Will vaccine give us peace? Matkakaroon ka ba ng katiwasa yan at peace pagka nasabi na, oh, niro-roll out na yung vaccine. Will that bring you peace? Will that give us peace? Ano bang, ano, pag, pag umalis ka sa bahay ng biyanan mo, yun, baka yun pa, magka-peace ka. Pero kung, kung, kung injection will give us peace, will it last in the first place? Paano kung may bagong variant, another, ano na naman yan, tama ba? Paano kung hindi mag-effect sa iba? I don't know. United Nations will give us peace? I don't know. Ano ba talaga, saan makikita yung true and lasting peace? And as we end this series, Again, if you're joining us for the first time, nasa ending na po kami, or watching us for the first time, sakto naman po yan dahil uh, stand-alone naman yung mga weekly preaching namin. But of course, it builds up to one uh, topic, which is joyful. I mean to say, we can be full of joy. And hopefully, na isa sa pamuhay natin yung past three weeks natin pinag-uusapan. And today, we're gonna dive into the last chapter because there are only four chapters po sa Philippians. So kung napansin nyo, chapter one, week one, chapter two, week two, chapter three, week three, and ngayon, po ay week 4, ngayon yung chapter 4. Let's open our Bible to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 tayo mag-start. Mag and sabi dito, rejoice in the Lord sometimes. 
Yung may sinabi doon? Ano sinabi doon? I wanna be with you. Ay, walang <laughs> puro millennials dito. Okay, kanta yun, okay? Kanta ni Pastor Chan yan. Always, I wanna be with you. Hindi nyo alam yun. Ang lungkot na kabataan nyo, wala kayong Walkman. Anyway, sabi ng millennials, ano yung Walkman? Ay, nako, kayo wako sa inyo. Okay, sikat ka nun pag may Walkman ka. But anyway, rejoice in the Lord always. And then, uh, just in case hindi mo naintindihan pa yung sinabi ni Paul, I'll say it again, rejoice. Now, during those times na sinusulat to, and, and the, the literature, the time ang pagsulat, pag inuulit, mahalaga. Right? Pag tatlong ulit, sobrang halaga. Kaya holy, holy, holy. It means that so is so, so important. So Paul is saying, rejoice in the Lord. And, and there's no problem with this because everybody wants, di ba? We all want to have joy in life. Tama ba? Now, on the surface, parang ang dali intindihin, rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Pag, sina, pag binasa mo to, it's so simple, ang dali intindihin. But if we scratch beneath the surface of this verse, <coughs> maraming tanong, excuse me po, okay? Maraming tanong na mag arise What do you mean by that, Paul? Una-una, is it really possible, <coughs> excuse me po ulit, <coughs> to rejoice always, all right? Is it really possible po to rejoice always, okay? Or the question is, am I supposed to deny pain or sorrow? Yung po ba'y ibig sabihin when, when we say rejoice? <clears throat> Paul, are you saying, lagi na lang kaming masaya? Parang uh, meron kaming perpetual smile on our faces. Ano yun? Parang uh, magkakasala ako when I feel depressed or sad? Wow! Ano yun? How can you command a feeling anyway? I mean, binabasa ko pa lang to, parang ah, hopeless yata ako dahil hindi ako nag-rejoice always. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Tumaas lang yung BP ko kanina, narab na ako ng joy ko eh. Excited na ako kanina eh. So, and besides Paul, the shortest verse in the Bible, just in case hindi mo alam, Jesus wept. Si Jesus mismo, umiyak. So what do you mean by this? Rejoice in the Lord always. Right? Well, we need to recognize that what Paul commands here is not just a cheerful disposition. It's not just an external display of parang happiness. Okay? But rather, something that requires supernatural power. It requires divine infilling. It requires divine intervention for you to have joy. Kaya po sinabi, in the Lord. <clears throat> Hindi niya sinabing, rejoice, tas walang Lord. Rejoice in your property, rejoice. No, no, no. Rejoice in the Lord. So this is very crucial because we always want to pursue joy. Ang problema, we're trying to look for joy outside of Christ. Tama ba? Sino rito may PS5 na? Kinaiinggitan ka ng marami. <laughs> Nung si Mateo Gudicelli, nag-unbox ng, GS, ng PS5 niya, di ba? Parang, ay, yung feeling mo sa PS4 mo na luma na. Ah, yung imba, Game Boy pa rin. Okay. Yung Game Boy, ewan ko kasi nakabili ng cartridge niyan. Okay? Pero sometimes we try to pursue joy outside of Christ. And that's why pag may bagong model, hindi na naman tayo joyful. Akala mo, boyfriend will give you joy and then nakadalawa ka ng boyfriend. Iniwanan ka ng isa, tapos isa, kinantahan mo ng paubaya. <laughs> eh, nakakarelate kahit si ate, oh. Napanood yung kay Moira na paubaya, oh. So rejoice in the Lord always. Okay? And then sabi doon, let your gentleness be evident to all. So he's talking to the Christians. If you haven't received Christ, absuelto ka rito. You don't have to follow this. Because this is a command more than a suggestion. This is a command. Rejoice always. This is not an option. This is a command from Apostle Paul to the Philippian church. And then sabi dito, let your gentleness be evident to all. Verse 5, joyful people are gentle people. Would you agree with me? Mapapansin mo yan, yung mga tao masayahin, very gentle. Hindi sila rough. Hindi sila mainitin ng ulo. In fact, if you look at the verse, sabi, the Lord is near. Sabi doon sa verse 5. Wow! The word near means egos in, in, in its Hebrew term, Greek term rather. 
It means physically near, but at the same time, eskaloto, eschatologically, ayan na, nabulol na kasi nagmamarunong. Eschatologically speaking, malapit nang dumating si Lord. So if you're a Christian, and you know that the Lord is near, and you know that His coming is imminent, okay, you can be gentle, you can rejoice at all times. So this, uh, this afternoon, we're going to talk about three things lang. How do we really experience peace? How can we really reach to a place of parang may katiwasayan, kapayapaan, nagagaya ako dito kay Pastor Chan, at Tagalog, yupi kasi ito eh. Kaya ako mag-Tagalog ito, ang tindi, okay? So, you know me naman, ano? Of course. So, I'm having a hard time Tagalog. So, but anyway, <laughs> three things mag-uusapan natin ngayon. We're gonna talk about pray, ponder, practice. Everybody say this with me. Pray, ponder, practice. Yan lang po yung ating pag-uusapan ngayon. And hopefully, itong, itong uh, command ni Paul, we can have peace that surpasses all understanding. That we can find joy after uh, uh, pagsunod dito sa tatlo na to. So how do you find peace in these difficult times? Okay, paano natin may experience so pray, ponder, practice. So, verse 6. Diretso tayo sa verse 6. Sabi doon, okay, do not be anxious about anything. Okay, let's pause for a moment. Sobrang rich na to. Okay, as I've said, this is a command, not a suggestion. This is not an option. When you're anxious, pag ikaw po'y nag-worry palagi, meron ba kayong kilalang ganon? Yung warrior, hindi warrior, warrior, yung lagi nag-worry. Laging may kulang, laging may reklamo, laging nag-wine, di ba? Whining and all. Sabi doon, somebody once said na being anxious means it's an intrusion or panghihimasok into an arena that belongs to God alone. It makes us the father of the household instead of being a child. Have you ever seen a little child na namumblema kung may isasaing si nanay mamaya? Meron makinakita ganun? Yung anak mo, ganun ng ganun. Yung mana, oh, 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 Zek, what's, what's the problem? Uh, Mom, do we have grocery? Parang, namumblema ba sila? May pambay ba tayo ng Meralco? Or, namumblema sila, six years old ah. Mom, may problema, tumaas yung Meralco. Walang ganun. Bubukas na lang niya, kain ng kain yan. Eh, minsan nga si Junjun, pumasok ng gate, sabi, tay! Wala tayong ulam. So, I mean, <laughs> ganun na kasi simple yun, di ba? <laughs> Hindi pa rin na ng iba. Mamaya, pag nasa jeep ka na, oh, maalala mo yan. I mean, a child will never think about the affairs of the household. A little child. Now, pag tayo naging anxious, when we worry, we're thinking like a father instead of a child. How about that? I have two grown-up daughters. So, malilet sila. Wala yun. Kahit ngayon, lalaki na lang walang problema. Kanina, ha? meron silang small group ngayon. Sabi ko, sa kayo kakain? Uh, uptown. O ito, tigisan libo. <laughs> Magbayad kayo rin sa kuryente. Meron doon bayad center. Okay? So, hindi choke lang. Gcash! Pati load, naka-Gcash, big time, ang tadi nila. Pinagpapatalan ko ng tigil limang pisong Gcash. Sabi ko, enough na yan, limang text lang kailangan nyo, no? Dad, pauwi na kami. So, but the point is, when we're worrying, we're intruding to the arena that belongs to God, the Father alone. Listen up, anxiety and joy are mutually exclusive. What do you mean by that? Contrapelo sila, they cannot coexist. Tubig at langis. Hindi pwede magsa- magsama. I'm so joyful, but at the same time, I'm anxious. Ha? Huh? Either you're anxious or you're joyful, or you're joyful or anxious, but you cannot be... Yeah, in identifying Jesus, what causes the worries of this world. Sabi, don't worry about your life. So presumably, yung meaning ng life is longevity. Sabi mo, maintindihin yung food, yung drinks, yung clothing. Now, hindi niya sinabi hindi mahalaga yon, But what he's simply saying is, your heavenly father knows that you need them. And, and, and be expectant to provide, to be provided by the loving father. Any loving father will always provide for his children. Tama ba? Kahit magbenta ng kidney yan. 
Tumutubo pa lang yung atay ko, anak. Ano ba pang tuition mo? Okay? Ito naman, yung abdo ko. Kahit magbenta ng kidney yan para sa anak. Wala pa yung movie ni Denzel Washington? Right? Yung heart niya para sa anak niya. He'll die for his kid. And so do we, mga fathers in the house. So, the Sermon on the Mount talks about that. In Matthew 6, it talks about that. Now, let me just balance this. Ah, okay, Pastor. So, hindi na pala kami mag-worry. Eh, dahil Christian na kami. No, 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 no. This counsel also, okay, is not a call to idleness. Baka sabihin na iba. Oh, oh, sabi ni Lord, huwag mag-worry, ha, na? So, hindi na ako magtatrabaho. Hilabas yung ML, saka yung Dota. Mga anak, puro ML tayo. The Lord will provide. Good luck. Kung sino, Lord, magpuprovide siya kung puro ML pinagagawa mo sa bahay. One tamad lang ang peg mo? No, 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 no. Paul said in other uh, books, sabi niya, huwag pakainan ng tamad. So hindi, hindi pinapromote ni Paul yung maging tamad. That's not, he's not promoting idleness. No, 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 no. We're gonna do our part. And then afterwards, we leave it all up to God. Amen? The Bible says, while we're sleeping, God is providing. Wow. Psalm 127 said, while we are sleeping, God is already providing. I know people in our small group hindi makatulog sa gabi because they're thinking the following day, ano, paano tayo kikita, paano tayo, puro negosyo nasa isip. I love Ma- Martin Luther's quote. Sabi niya, work, work from morning until late at night. In fact, sabi niya, I have so much to do that I shall have to spend the first three hours in prayer. Wow. Sino rito yung workaholic? you're not even praying pagising sa umaga. Parang kaharap mo agad email. And there's too much worry and anxiety because you put God out of the picture. Sabi ni Martin Luther, no, ang trabaho ka. Okay? Magtrabaho ka, but then again, you have to pray. Sabi niya, I have so much work to do, I, I'm gonna spend the first three hours in prayer. And then sabi nito, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, okay, these two words, prayer and petition, nagkaka-interchange minsan yan. No, no, huwag kayong masyadong big honey sa mga Greek words, ano? pero kailangan lang kasi dahil para pampatalino ba? Alam niyo yun. Okay? So, yung Greek word na to is prosuke, yung, yung, yung prayer, uh, places more of an emphasis on prayer as an act of worship. And then sabi, prayer and petition, the word naman sa petition, they say, it places more an emphasis on asking or petitioning God. So yung prayer is more of an act of worship, and then hihingi ka kay Lord. Kaya minsan wala tayong provision because we're not asking. Who among you here, you feel like you're not parang entitled to anything from God because you're sinful. Ay, hindi ako lalapit kay Lord kasi... Nagkasala ako kanine. Ay, hindi ako lalapit kay Lord kasi hindi ako nag-quiet time kanine. You're not acting as a child, you're acting as a slave. Parang kang hired worker, no work, no pay. That's not a child mindset. That's a slave mindset. Act like a son, you're gonna have enjoy time, you're gonna enjoy time with the Father. And then somebody with Thanksgiving, present your request to God. There's a heart of God, gratitude. God knows what we need, right? Eh, bakit pa pray pastor? Well, the father covets conversation with his children. I know the needs of my two daughters. I mean, uh, my youngest is still in college, third year college, in UST, the best school in the world. May isa lang dito at isa doon, okay? Okay? Amen, hindi ako makakalabas dito. Okay? Marami mga tagalasal yata dito at Ateneo. But anyways, for me, the best school in the world for interior design, okay? So, si Patricia, I know what she needs. Hindi pa niya sasabihin, alam ko na. But then again, I'm limited. May mga needs siya ngayon na hindi ko kaya, pero the Father in heaven knows what you need. But then again, ang sarap pag naglalambing. Dan, kailangan ko ng ganyan. Di ba? Alam ko na anak, na-order ko na. Napalasada ko na yan. 150 lang. Add to cart. Ang galing nila mag-add to cart. Pero yung account ko yung ginagamit. Lalo na sa Shopee. Oh, yung, yung, yung wallet ko sa Shopee, nagamit lahat. Pwede na nga sa amin tumira yung delivery man eh. Kuya, pati ka na lang dito tumira. <laughs> Kilala na niya si Matcha, si Chewy, si Moana. Yung tatlo na aming aso. Yun ang sumasalubong sa kanya. Because God covets conversation with His children. That's why I present your request to God. It is significant that Paul doesn't say, give thanks for all circumstances. Sabi niya, in all circumstances. 
Listen up, guys. The reason why we can give thanks in everything because we know that God is in control. He's sovereign, isn't it? That in the midst of pinagdadaanan natin ngayong pandemic, we know na na isan yata si God. No, 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 no. He's in full control. He's in charge of every circumstance na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Amen? So pray. Everybody say pray. A heart that is at peace can really pray. Pag walang katiwasaya ng puso mo, hindi ka makapagdasal. If your hearts are full of worries and anxiety, you can't parang pray genuinely because it cannot coexist. You have to come to God with full trust. That's why nung nire-rebuke niya yung mga, mga disciple do sa coming of the storm, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? God equates faith to fear. If you are afraid, it means you have no faith or lacking faith. Now, if you're in faith, it means ro- there's no room for fear. So what's the result? And the peace of God, verse 7, which transcends all understanding. I love this verse. The peace of God that transcends all understanding. Another translation that surpasses all understanding. So, ano ito? Isn't it that it's, it is senseless and therefore impossible to understand? Kasi kung hindi ko maintindihan, eh wala rin kwenta yan. No, 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 no. That is beyond our ability as human being to understand or to explain paano yung peace na yun works out. But it doesn't mean hindi totoo yun. Tama ba? Ah, beyond understanding pala yung peace. Eh, wag ko na lang pansinin. No, 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 no. We might not understand or explain it, but we can experience it. Sometimes you don't have to understand everything before ka maniwala. Tama ba? Sino rito yung nagte-text? Lahat tayo. Tama? Nagbabiber ka. Do you have any idea? Alam mo ba yung step-by-step procedure na pag tinipe mo sa phone mo yung text, dadaan lang siya dun sa internet connection mo, pupunta sa Europe o sa Canada o sa, sa kaibigan mo dyan sa Pasig. Paano nangyari yun? Hindi ko alam. Kasi pati yung sinulat mo, pati coma and all. Ngayon kung aaralin mo paano gumagana yung text, lilipad sa hangin, dadaan doon sa mga internet connection. Kung iintindihin ko yung complexity, bago ko ako mag-text, hindi ako makakagawa ng kahit ano. Tama ba? Kung kailangan mo intindihin lahat at maunawaan lahat, bago mo siya paniwalaan, wala kang magagawa. Hindi ko alam, paano yung boses ko dumadaan dito, and then magnify, and then lumalakas dito, and then tumatagos dun sa mga camera na yon, and then yung, yung si Manang na naka-blue na duster, naririnig niya. Totoo talaga may naka-blue na duster, ha? Nagko-comment sa akin, Pastor, lagi ko suot pag Sabado. Para nasa shout-out mo ako. Shout-out! May edad na rin siya. Ate, naka-blue na duster, shout-out yan. Okay. Hindi ko alam kung paano niya narinig yon. Pero hindi ko sasabihin dito sa tech namin, hindi ko gagamitin yung mic na yan. Hindi ko naiintindihan kung paano yung kung gamitin yan na yung boses ko nakakarating sa kabilang ibayo. Never kong gagamitin yan. Kasi kailangan ko maintindihan bakit itong piece of wire na merong uh, poem na, na parang sa panghugas ng pinggan namin sa bahay. You don't have to understand it. You just have to experience it. Hello? And then the result will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. I love this. The peace of God. You know the word peace in, in the New Testament, it's called Eirin. In the Old Testament, it's Shalom, right? Uh, both words connote the kind of well-being that is derived from a deep relationship with God. Hindi mo magsinabing may peace, okay, there's an absence of violence or war. Now, it can be that, but that's not the totality of peace. We can have wars, we can have difficulties, we can experience trouble like si Paul, shipwreck and all, and still experience this Irene or Shalom. Because it comes from having this deep relationship with God, the kind of wholeness that comes from having the image of God. Are you following? One shattered by sin, restored in every believer. Kaya pa sinabing, you are at peace with God. You have the peace of God. We were once enemies of God, kaya wala tayong peace with God. But because of what we're commemorating kanina, yung uh, 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 
communion, Jesus Christ died so that we may have peace with the Father. It's not our doing. So even my United Nations, European Union, ASEAN, experiencing real and lasting peace is not about an organization, it's about a person. Ang tagal na ng United Nations, bakit may gulo pa rin sa Myanmar ngayon? Bakit ang tayo pa rin gulo sa mundo ngayon? Because it's not gonna bring lasting peace. Because as Seb said, it's not about an organization, it's about a person. A person in Christ. Grabe si Lord, ano? We'll guard your hearts and your mind. Have you ever wondered bakit hearts and mind ang gagwari dyan ng peace of God? Because these are the two openings, these are the two windows that Satan always wants to penetrate. Hindi ka naman lalatagan ni Satan ng babae agad dyan and all. No, 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 no. Lalaruin mo yan, matetem ka because it starts with the heart, which is the wellspring of life. And then the heart and the mind, pag na-penetrate ni Satan, alam niya, he can do whatever he wants to do sa'yo. Kaya be very careful, guys, especially mga lalaki. Be careful what you're browsing. Kasi pagka nagkaroon ka ng passion o pag nanasa doon sa pinabrowse mo, kinachat mo, wow, hindi, ano nang naman to? High school friends ko naman to nung araw. Eh, nung sumagot kami ng flames, enemies nga kami. Pero ngayon ha, dahil iba na last name niya, friends na kami, patay. Be very careful because Satan wants to penetrate the heart and the mind. And guess what? Once we pray, once we offer it with gratitude, every petition and prayer natin, once we offer it to God, the peace of God that transcends all understanding will protect your heart and your mind. Doon nagsisimula yung battle. Hindi yung sa actual. Bago ka nagmura, yung heart mo punong-puno ng galit. Have you ever wondered, hindi mo na makakilala, nakagitgitan mo lang sa EDSA, papatayin mo. Ay, saan ang galing yun? Hindi mo na makilala yun eh. Away sa parking, mamamaril ka, saan galing yun? Sa heart yun. Punong-puno ng galit yung heart mo. Meron ka ba rito, yung misis mo? Nilipat mo lang yung channel, nagwala. Channel lang, pare. Ay, ikaw talaga lalaki ka! Ano ba? Sumasamad ako sa'yo! Di manunod ako ng Korean novela! Lilipat mo dyan sa isang tanil na mela mo! Eh, eh, tapos ikaw naman, susolusyonan mo! External! O oh, sige, mula ka nyo, dalawa na TV! Ito yung remote control mo! Ito yung remote control ko! Hindi TV ang problema, hindi remote control, pare! Yung puso niya, galit na sa'yo! Meron siyang selos, may envy, may insecurity, abandonment, may... I don't know! But the heart is the wellspring of life. So be very careful! In parenting, you do na, di ba? Bakit siya nagmura yung bata? Hindi nagmura yun sa bibig. Nagmura yun sa puso. Lumabas na sa bibig. Sabi ni Jesus yan. Garbage in, garbage out. Ano naman ang puso? Yung nilalaman sa bibig. Hello? The abundance of the heart? Of course. Hindi lang kayo makapag-speak ngayon because mayroon kayong ma, ano, <laughs> face shield at face mask. But guess what? If you're a Christian, our hearts and minds are guarded by the peace of God. Aren't you glad that before pa pumasok yung envy, yung greed, yung unforgiveness, yung galit, yung lust, God is saying, no, 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 anak ko yan. Lumayas kayo, lumayas kayo. Hindi, guguluhin lang namin yung anak mo. Hindi, lumayas kayo, huwag kayo dito. Yung pornography, hindi pa pwede sa anak ko yan. Lumayas kayo, lumayas kayo. Hindi, ingiting ko lang kasi naka-iPhone 12 na yung kaopisina niya. Lumayas ka, huwag mong, huwag mong gulitin ng envy yung anak ko. Anak ko to. Ganun tayo, pare. Kaya kung may nakikreep in sa inyo, sabi mo, Lord, parang nakalusot ba ito, Lord? The Lord, tanggalin mo itong galit na to Lord, tanggalin mo yung envy na to Lord, but parang sumusundot-sundot minsan yan. Ako nga eh. Minsan sumusundot-sundot yan. Sa akin nga, nadadalas eh. Sa akin, Lord, Lord, sandali. Parang nainggit ako sa kanya, Lord. But mas marami siyang like, Lord. Yung daily bread ko, Lord, parang konti na lang, Lord. Kailangan ko mag-repent. Every Monday to Friday po, 8 a.m., Okay. 92.3 FM, okay? But the point is, we should guard our heart. And finally, brothers, sabi, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, lovely, admirable, whatever is excellent, or praiseworthy, think. Everybody say think. With an age. Think. 
Jack, wala kang age. Anong think? <laughs> Alam mo, wala sa ano. Okay, think of these things. Guys, look up here. Finally, sabi niya, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, anything that's excellent or praiseworthy, yan yung isaksak mo sa utak mo. What Paul is saying, okay, these are the fruit and the food of the mind that is guarded by the peace of God. If your hearts and minds are guarded by the peace of God, eto pare, yan ang lalabas. You're going to think of, of, of noble things, right things. It's going to be pure. Okay, when you talk to opposite sex, walang pagnanasa, hindi mo asawa, walang pagnanasa, it's going to be pure. And you're going to think of excellent ways of, of doing your job. Because your hearts are guarded and minds are guarded by the peace of God. Grabe, no? When you hear the word ponder, meditate on these things. Proverbs 4.23, very important to sa, sa GNT version. Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Proverbs 4.23, sulat nyo yan. Okay? Wala lang yata sa slide ko. Be careful how you think because your life is shaped by your thoughts. Last week, okay, um, we had a very intimate dinner lang with a friend. Nag birthday lang, so we're expecting kami lang mag, kami lang dalawa nung couple sa bahay nila. Uh, and then we're surprised because there's another couple. Na friend din naman namin. So we're three couples and we had a great time. And then the following day, we receive a call. Sabi Pastor Jeff, we just found out last week, okay, a week before, may nakasama rin sila that was exposed to COVID. Oh, di ako naman. Okay. Eh, meron akong baby dedication last week. Meron kami leaders convergence dito. And then, nandun sila, nagpa, nagpa-swab test na sila in the morning. I have to receive yung ano, because one week na rin nag-gestation or whatever, kung ano tawag doon. So, pwede na magpa-test. So, I have to wait for their negative result, right? Unfortunately, 24 hours down. Kung ano man dahilan, sabi, barang ating gabi pa nila makukuha yung result. Eh di, ay, hindi ako nakapasok dito sa opisina, Sabado ng umaga yon. Buti na lang hindi ako mag-preach last Saturday. Otherwise, hindi ako nakapreach. Pero believe me, that's the longest 18 hours of my life. Si Grace, paranoid na. Jeff, wag kang uubo, oh. Baka pa-cremate kita. Cremate agad, inubo lang. Sabi, nagja-jokan lang kami. Hindi na kami manon. Jeff, wag ka muna lumapit sa akin. Bakit ako lang? Dalawa tayo na andun. Di ba parang, nagja-jokan na kami. Sabi, uh, 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 uh. Just, nagano lang naman kami. Pero the point is, that's the longest 18 hours of my life. Actually, sa totoo lang, pinapakita ko lang kay Grace, nandiyan, wala yun. Lord, uh, ikaw na bahala sa result, ha? Eh, tapos tinawa ko kaibigan ko, pare, ano ha, ju- just, just think positive. Sabi, ano, Jeff, magpa-positive kami? Hindi, sabi ko, just think positive, nawala yan. Peace of God. Ang hirap. Hindi ako gano'n nakatulog ng gabi na yun. Nag, nag-biber sa akin, 1 a.m. Nung umilaw yung telepono ko, hinawakan ko agad, hinawakan ko. <laughs> ang tingin ko, parang 6,000 messages, nasan yun? <sighs> Pastor Jeff, we're negative. Ha? <sighs> Para ako tumama sa loto. Although, hindi ako tumataya, okay? Psalm 119 verse 15, I will meditate on your pros, uh, 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 precepts, on your word, and fix my eyes on your ways. Saan nakatuon ang inyong meditation? Where are you pondering upon? Sa, sa, yung thoughts nyo, ano yung hinilay-nilay nila ng brain natin? The word meditate here, Psalm 119 verse 15, okay? Sabi dito, the word meditate means to be intense in the mind. Meditation without reading is wrong and bound to error. Nag-meditate ka, wala ka naman nabasa. Now, pag nagbabasa ka naman ng Bible without meditation is barren and fruitless. There are a lot of people who's reading the Bible pero hindi nag-meditate, hindi nag in. The Bible says meditate on it day and night. Because yung third part natin. That's important because that's the next part after meditation. So, anong salita ng Diyos ang pinangahawakan mo ngayon? 
I'd like to share lang a story. Uh, this story about a couple uh, pumunta sa bahay one time and all. Si Mark Joseph and Jenny Lynn Samonte. Nandiyan may picture nila. Ayun, you know, laka-jackpot din si Mark. Okay? Nagkakilala sa church natin. I think they're here. Okay? Somewhere in the audience. Hindi ko lang makilala yung mukha. So, nagkakilala sila sa church natin in Ortigas. Uh, fell in love na sa small group. Okay? Mga tipong evangeligo to. Okay? Ayan, nandito pala. Sino sa inyo rito? Okay? Gusto niyo small group. Okay? Baka nandito mga pangasawa niyo. Okay? So, anyway. Got married last 2017. May 5, 2017. Sa napakagandang uh, uh, babae na si Jenny Lynn. So, naging ano sila magkasawa. And then, while in pandemic last year, may na-detect doon kay Jenny Lynn, December 1 pa naman, papasok ang Pasko, no? Noong 2020 of December 1, endometrium carcinoma. Ano yung sabihin nun? Kumakapal po yung lining ng matres ni Jenny Lynn. And immediately, ang sabi ng doktor, hysteroctoronomy. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Tatanggalin yung matres. But you know what? While I was talking to, 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 uh, to the husband, kay, kay Mark Joseph, Sabi niya, Pastor, we believe in God that hindi dadaan sa ganon. And we prayed. And then sabi niya, we're holding on to the promises of God in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plan to prosper you. Plan to give you hope in the future. So they meditate on the word of God. They meditated on the promises of God. And one day they're going to be holding a baby in their hands. So Jenny Lynn and Mark Joseph, yan. Paniniwala natin yan. One day, pag nagkaan na kayo, akit kayo dito, ano? Ano, para mag-testimony kayo. Nandito sila yung mag-asawa. And we're believing with you as a church na hindi na kailangan dumaan doon. Tama, Jenny Lynn? In fact, we're gonna pray today. Nandito tayo as a church. Pag-pray natin si Jenny Lynn. Jenny Lynn, tayo ka nga. Pag-pray natin si Jenny Lynn. We're gonna believe God for healing for this woman. Come on now. I mean, we're, we're one in faith. This is what church is. Lord, we leave up to you, Jenny Lynn. Father, we know that you're a God of impossibilities. Father, we declare, Lord God, that this cancer, Lord, will not take effect. Lord, yung kanyang uh, endometrium, carcinoma, Lord God, will not progress. In the name of Jesus, you are our healer. Lord, whatever the doctor said, Lord God, sa iyo kami maniniwala. What you said in your word, that by your stripes we're healed. So in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we rebuke any cancer cell. Hindi na abot, Lord, sa hysteroctron or me. And I know, Lord God, that you are greater than the doctors. We know science is here. Nandiyan ang mga medical science, Lord God. But no, we believe in you, our healer. Lord God, thank you for the faith of this woman, the faith of this couple. We're praying, Lord God, one day you're going to give them, Lord God, a child. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jenny Lynn. Thank you for allowing me to share that, that testimony. And I were looking for a day. Magkakaroon sila anak. Ako magde-dedicate. Okay? Six years ang booking ko eh. So, Mark Joseph, meron ka pang simulan mo naman mayang gabi. Anyway, let's talk about practice. So, we pray and ponder and then practice. Everybody say practice. Let's end this. Sabi dito, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, talking about Paul, talking about to, whatever you narinig nyo sa akin, yung sinulat ko, yung narinig nyo, yung nakikita nyo. Sabi dito, put it into practice. As simple as that. Whatever nakita nyo sa akin, narinig, tinuro ko, put it into practice. Because the worst for a Christian is, you know a lot of Bible verses and di mo ina-apply. Kabisado mo lahat ng theology. Nabasa mo lahat ng libro about theology. And yet, you're not applying it. I'd rather have one Christian who only know one verse and then ina-apply kesa isang katutak na verses na walang ina-apply. Are you following? That's why Francis Chan said, ang ganda ng quote niya, don't fall into the trap of studying the Bible without doing what it says. Jesus said that as well. Si James, the Bible says that do not merely listen to the word. Do what it says. So meditating on the word without applying it, it's barren and fruitless. Ang dami mong alam. And yet you're in the situation where the Bible calls for like forgiveness, letting go, humbling yourself, and yet ayaw mong i-apply, sayang lang, you have all the knowledge, but you lack the power. You have all the form, but lacks the power because you're not applying it. So what was the result? I'll end here. And the God of peace 
will be with you. Kanina, peace of God. Nabaliktad, the God of peace. Now, all of a sudden, the presence of God will be with you. Kanina, he was just guarding and protecting. And now it says here, and the God of peace will be with you. From protection to presence. Wow, how about that? Then you're going to have God's peace. I, as a pastor, you know, we receive a lot of messages, mga PMs, in private messages from so Facebook, in Messenger. I received one uh, prayer request from this woman. Actually, yung anak niya. Sito si Nanay Amelia. Do you have the picture? Ayan. Uh, may ari siya ng coffee bean sa baba, kaya sarado. Na joke lang, okay. <laughs> si coffee bean lang si Nanay Amelia. Si Nanay Amelia, she's a 72-year-old woman. Okay? And uh, nag-message yung anak niya sa akin, okay? Sabi nung daughter niya, uh, Pastor, can you pray for my mom? Kasi she, she loves listening sa mga preaching natin dito sa Victory Fort. Nanonood siya nung uh, Daily Brad every Monday, 8 a.m., Monday to Friday, okay? And she's gonna undergo a quadruple open heart bypass surgery. 72 years old. And then, alam mo yun, and sometimes, and, and sometimes I'm guilty of this. Uh, I'm sure kayo hindi. Pero have you ever received a prayer request that I'm praying for you, pero hindi naman totoo? Umamin. Hindi kayo ganon? Oh, perfect kayo. Kasi ako minsan, di ba nag-drive ka para na lang ano, para, ah, Lord, I'm trying my best. Before mo sabi, I'm praying for you, you really pray for that person. Are you listening? Because yung emoji na di ganon, pinadala mo, nag-pray ka ba talaga? Mm. At least ako umamin. Bahala kayo kay Lord. So I'm trying my best when, before I even say prayed for you, Lord, would you just heal this woman? But this time, iba, sabi ko, uh, uh, I don't know the, I don't know yung anak, hindi ko kilala yung anak, okay? Sabi ko, can you ask your mom if I can pray for her over the phone? Na-excite, binigay yung number, so we're about to sleep, kami ni Grace the other night, tumawag. So, pinag-pray ko si Nanay Amelia. And then, sayang, Bren, kumusta, kumusta, ganyan, 72 years old, nung pastor, ganyan, syempre natatakot and all. But after praying for her, okay na siya, at peace na siya, and she believes that she's already healed. And then I received a message from her. Sabi niya, Pastor Jeff, salamat po ng marami sa inyo, sabi ng daughter. Nasa ICU na po si nanay at praying na tuloy-tuloy na po yung recovery niya. After nine hours na na-bypass, Dumaan siya doon sa ICU. Ito sabi ng nanay niya, God is good, anak. Kasama ko si Jesus, kaya kakayanin ko ito. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang pag-pray nyo. Ha? Ito si nanay ngayon. I mean, strong. Kanina, kausap ko anak niya. She's recovering. She's getting stronger. You know, the peace, don't you just wish, marireseta yung peace ng doktor? Ah, ito, kumuha ka ng tatlong peace niya sa butika. How I wish marireseta yung peace, mabibili mo. But you can be a billionaire and still live in fear. You can be multi-millionaire going through this quadruple bypass open heart surgery and no peace at all. You can be a relative of, of anyone and still there's no peace. But this woman can say, alam ko na si Lord kasama ko kanina sa operating room, kaya na recovery, kasama ko siya, kakayanin ko to. How about that? That's the God of peace. And not just protecting us, but His presence is with us. Let's all stand on our feet today. And let's gonna end this, let, let's end this series with, with the heart of, you know, a heart that not just, you know, parang, Lord, alam ko magaling ka, malaki ka, powerful and all, pero you lack the, the faith to believe. And today, I want to really encourage everyone that peace is very elusive kung wala kang Diyos sa puso. Because you cannot earn this peace, you cannot, you cannot have this, you, you cannot work for this peace. It is actually, parang kasama siya by being a child of God. That any child with a loving parent will be at peace. Alam nila na yung tatay ko lagi na dyan, a great provider, a loving dad, a loving mom, and the child will grow up, you know, 
Ang sarap ng buhay ng bata na to. Lumaki na maayos ang pamilya, because meron siyang father. And even the Bible says, we're not perfect. The, the, our earthly father might not be perfect. Imagine our father in heaven. So I'll be praying for some group of people here today. Hindi ka magkaroon ng peace. You're trying. You're in puro may turmoil. Alam mo yun, yung tinggigising ka, bombarded ka na ng problema, negosyo, yung sakit mo, and even you watching right now, you feel like wala kang peace because of external circumstances. Wala kang peace because of uh, internal then as well. Ikaw, you're full of doubts and, 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 and worries and anxiety because of the future. Wala kang peace because of your marriage. Wala kang peace because of your uh, uh, relationship mo sa pamilya mo. I don't know. But first things first, rejoice in the Lord always. I'm going to say it again. Rejoice. It's a choice. Every waking up in the morning, I choose to rejoice because I know my God is in control. Lord, maray po salamat sa series na to. We know, Lord, na it's hard to have joy even in this pandemic. There are a lot of things, Lord, na talagang mabobombard kami waking up in the morning. The news, the f- Twitter feeds, the, the Facebook posts, pag nagbabasa kami, Lord, parang nakakadismaya. And yet, Lord God, you called us, Lord, to a life of peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding. A peace that will perpetually guard our hearts and minds. Kaya, Panginoon, sa mga nanonood ngayon, at even yung nandito ngayon sa audience namin ngayon, Lord, I pray that you're gonna give them a peace that only comes from you. Alam namin, Lord, maraming bumabagabag sa puso nila. Marami silang concern. But just like you said in your word, do not worry. Because worrying cannot add a single day in your life. Worrying is an intrusion to your arena, which is a loving father. So Lord, help us not to worry. Help us to put uh, uh, you in the right perspective, Lord God, na you are a God, a loving father to us. Kaya Panginoon, ngayong araw na to, patawarin niyo po kami at those times that we worry a lot. Thank you, Lord, for this peace. In Jesus' name. Okay. For the last time, as we end this series, I'm going to be praying for a group of people that peace can only be, you know, you can only receive that by faith. The Bible says we were once enemies of God. And if you haven't given your life to Christ, sa mga nanonood po, at manonood ng recorded nating YouTube video na to, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you can never have peace. The peace that God offers. Because ang starting point po ng peace na yon is becoming a child of God. So kung kayo po ay naimbitahan for the first time, kung kayo po ay nandito na hindi mo alam ba't ka nandito, in-invite lang ako ng kumari ko, I think this is not a co- co- uh, coincidence. I believe you're here for a reason. God is calling you to His family. He wants you to become His child. The Bible says, to those who believe and receive His name, He gave the right to become children of God. So you want to have peace? Be a child of God. So if that's you today, you haven't given your life to Christ, can you just raise your hand? Even you watching online, I'm just going to lead you into a short prayer. Yes, sir, I see that hand. Thank you, Lord. Sa balcony, we have people in the balcony. Just, just, just raise your hand if you want to receive Christ. Yes, I see those hands. Praise God. Okay, for those of you watching us live, pakitaas lang po yung kamay and repeat this prayer with me. Panginoong Jesus, salamat po sa kapatawaran na binigay mo sa akin. Lord, thank you for dying for me. Because of your death, I will now have peace with the Father. Thank you, Jesus, because you rose from the dead and now I have eternal life. Panginoon, patawarin niyo po ako sa lahat ng mga aking nagawang kasalanan. And starting today, I put my trust in you alone for my salvation. Thank you for making me your child. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give Him praise. All right, let's give Him praise. Praise God. Guess what? 
I do hope and pray na yung uh, timpong uh, series na to hindi lang nasa utak, but we're gonna apply it, we're gonna practice it. Amen? So for those of you watching us live online, thank you for joining us. I'll see you again next week for a brand new series. It's gonna be an exciting series again. So God bless you and um, see you soon, next week.